Hey YouTube, it's your girl Sophie here coming at you with a new video. So this video is going to be all about lashes. Anyone that knows me knows that I love my falsies. Uh, I wear them to work. I pretty much, pretty much wear them all the time except for when I'm at home. Uh, as you can see, I have no makeup on my eyes here. Basically, I'm wearing foundation. I have my um, blush and some shimmering uh, dust powder and lipstick and that is it. I have nothing else on my eyes because I want to do this uh, product review. So Jamie Leah, hey Jamie, <laughs> from Toronto. She is a unique presenter and she sent me um, a Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lash um, Transplant, it's called Transplanting Gel. I want to call it mascara but I don't think that's what this is, it's it's different. Um, I haven't actually, I've opened it, but I haven't actually used this. I got this about a month ago, and I've been so busy. I've been traveling, I just got back a couple weeks ago, and then I got sick. I'm still sick, but um, I thought I would just do this review and get it over with, because I really, really, really am getting sick of looking at this box and not knowing what it's like. So, I'm gonna put a marker in this video somewhere around here and you can um, just fast forward to the actual review of this product but I was gonna go a little bit into um, some of the, my background history with my lashes and stuff so I was getting those eyelash extensions um, done regularly I, I think it was like maybe four four years ago or something like that and I loved them you guys I was addicted to those things I was going in every two weeks and and getting them done. I love the idea of just jumping up in the morning and having fresh lashes and not having to worry about it. But after a while, I started to notice that my eyelashes were getting sparse. There were fewer of them. I even think I saw a couple bald spots and I was getting a little bit concerned about it. So I went into the salon and had her remove them. I didn't realize that removing them was actually involving cutting them. So when I got out of there, I had no lashes left. My eyelashes were these little stumps. I was so upset and um, even putting mascara on didn't help. They were short, you guys. They're really short and um, I was devastated. I didn't know what to do and I jumped on my computer and I did some research. So I found um, this one product called Talika Liposils. Um, I found this product online and the reviews on this product was you know it was amazing so I decided to order it and I think I ordered it off of amazon.com or something like that but I ordered it and thank god my eyelashes came back um, I, I think it took like six to eight weeks but they did come back so I was very very happy with that and uh, I still actually was just up until recently I was still actually using it not consistently but just kind of like you know once in a while I would put put a layer on before I would go to bed um, I have been um, given samples of Care Prost, which is, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, I don't know if it's Care Prost or Care Prost, but this is a product that is a generic Latisse. I was sent um, two bottles of it and I have been using it for the last maybe six weeks or so and I do notice um, increased growth in my eyelashes. I noticed that this side has more eyelashes and is much thicker than this side, not sure what that's about, but um, Anyways, I will be doing a review on that as well. But just to get back to Fiber Lashes Transplanting Gel. <laughs> Such a, that's a mouthful to say that. Um, so I did a little bit of research online with this product. And uh, I have to say it's like 50-50. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys when I do my review and let you guys know uh, what I really think about the product. Um, so I think I did read, there's like a little um, pamphlet on the inside. I was reading up on it and stuff and it's, it's, it seems interesting. I, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to trying this out. So this is what the box looks like, you guys from Jamie. Thank you very much, Jamie, for sending that to me. Um, I've been dying to, to try this product, so this should be actually a very interesting video. I'm just gonna bring my mirror over here, and I'm going to unbox this with you guys. So, number one, I love the packaging. You can tell that this is good quality from the packaging. Um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't look at the price. I will definitely put the price in the description box um, below, but I 
think this runs 35 or 40 dollars but i'll double check that so i do like the packaging that this comes in here's the pamphlet that i was kind of sneaking uh i looked at that so it looks like it comes in this little pouch which is really nice and there are two items in here so I do like the way that the um, I do like the packaging you can tell that you're getting a, a good quality product here okay so one of them is called um, actually there isn't anything on here okay oh I see it's on the side okay so this the bigger one is the mood struck 3d fiber lashes plus transplanting gel and then the smaller one is the uh, Moosdruck 3D Fiber Lashes 3D Fibers. This is so exciting. Okay, so <laughs> here are the two products, the two items that came in the package. I'm just gonna read the instructions on what to do here. Okay, so it says apply an even coat of the transplanting gel to the lashes and then immediately apply the 3D fibers while the transplanting gel is wet and then seal the fibers with the transplanting gel. Repeat until you've received the desired fullness. Okay, so basically it's one, two, three. Okay, I could do that. Um, I can tell right away if you are one of those people that gets the um, eyelash extensions because you don't want to put on mascara, this is probably not gonna be for you. Um, just number one, just off the bat, having the three steps like that, if you don't like putting on mascara and that's the whole reason why you're getting those lashes, this probably won't be for you. But I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my eyelashes because they pretty much look like they're non-existent. They are there, <laughs> but um, because I'm not wearing lashes and because I'm not wearing any mascara, you can barely see them. So I'm just gonna use my little eyelash curler here and I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes really quick. So we're just gonna do this side. And you're still not gonna be able to see them, but. I know once I put the product on, you'll be able to see them. Okay, so I have curled my eyelashes. This is so exciting. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is use the gel. Okay, that's the fiber, so that's not the right one. It's this one here. So it says that you're supposed to put on an even coat of the gel. I'm just gonna get the fibers unscrewed here so it'll be ready to go. Okay, it looks like this. It basically looks like regular mascara, really, but I'm gonna put on the first layer. So I'm just adding it like it's mascara, basically. I'm just gonna make sure that I put it on um, nice and thick. Because I want it to be to be wet when I put on the when I put on the fibers. Okay, so I put my first layer on here. Can't really. Well, maybe you can see it a little bit there. Now I'm gonna get the fibers. This is very different looking. It kind of looks like little hairs. <laughs> they look like little fibers. So I'm going to put those on. And I know that I read that some people were saying that the fibers were falling off. They're going into their eyes and stuff. So I am going to be very careful when I put this on. Um, I think this is the kind of product that you cannot rush. I think if you rush it, you're probably going to get little bits and pieces on your face. I think I just got one little piece in my eye here. I think I got a little piece in my eye here. I can definitely see though that, um, you can definitely see the product. Uh, I'm going to now go back to step one. I guess this is what seals it in. So this is the transplanting gel. 
and that would be step number three so the first step second step was the fibers and then the third step is back to the gel okay so i've done the three steps you can definitely see the difference between the two eyes. You can see this one doesn't have anything on it and this one does. I'm actually going to go through and do my bottom lashes just to see what it looks like on those lashes. So I'm back to step one with the transplanting gel and I'm going to do my bottom lashes now. have done my bottom lashes now I definitely see a difference I think that my eyelashes actually look longer and thicker than with regular mascara I could definitely say that I am not one of those people that rushes through my makeup so I could definitely see myself using this product but um, anyone that is um, doesn't want to take time to do their makeup or doesn't spend a lot of time doing makeup or doesn't wear a lot of makeup probably wouldn't like this product I could tell that um, I would like to build on this a little bit more so I'm gonna do one more layer just to see what it'll look like because some of the advertisements that I've seen their eyelashes are huge um, I think they look pretty good for one for one layer but I'm gonna actually do one more layer so I'm gonna do the three steps again and I will come back okay you guys so I've just put on my second layer um, I do like it. You can see the difference between that's with it on and that's with nothing. Um, that's with two layers. I don't think I want to do three. I think that this actually looks pretty good. It's not obviously as thick as wearing false lashes. I would probably use this product, but I will warn you that um, you can't rush this product. You need to take your time when you're doing it. When I was putting it on, I did feel that there were a couple pieces that were dropping into my eyes, but I do like how it looks. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, um, the length. Or maybe if I go to the side, you might not be able to see that. But um, I do like how it looks, though. It does look very natural. I know that when you're wearing lashes, it's like, no, those don't look natural. But I know that this does look longer and thicker than if I was to wear just regular mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. And when I come back, I'm going to show you what the finished look looks like. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I've got two coats on both eyes and you can see, hopefully you guys will be able to see that I've got them on there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the actual length because my background is really dark, but um, I do like it. I would probably use this product. I would probably buy this product. I think it would take um, a little bit of getting used to. I'm not gonna lie, um, there's definitely a technique on how to use this you guys you cannot rush um, this this uh, um, this product when you're putting it on the gel is fine because it's almost like a regular mascara but those fibers uh, you cannot rush when you're doing that otherwise they will clump together and uh, it will give you that kind of like that spider legs uh, look if you don't mind that look then you'll probably like this product um, I do notice that um, I have more hair on this side than I do on this side, I don't know why, but you can see my eyelashes actually look thicker on this side, and I was trying to even it out on this side. So it does actually um, clump together a little bit. If you don't mind that, then that's cool. And I actually don't really mind that because I am a uh, falsies junkie, and I like my eyelashes to look really, really thick. So for me, 
I don't really mind it too much. I definitely need to have more practice though. I would think that this is not something that you're gonna want to um, buy if you're going on a special, like to a special event and you're gonna try it for the first time. I would definitely try it first before and get the hang of it. This was my first time doing it. I think I did a pretty good job, but I think there's definitely more of a technique to using this, but I do like it. I do like it and I will I will use it. Um, I actually really like the way that this eye looks. I'm, I need to like even this one out so it looks like this. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much my review, you guys, on the Unique 3D Fiber Lash um, Transplanting Gel. <laughs> I don't wanna call it mascara because it's not mascara. It's um, these little fibers here are, um, it's not mascara, it's almost like, uh, well, they're fibers. They're like little hairs that stick to the gel and then you put the gel on after that to, I guess, seal it. Thank you much my video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my review. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.